Hey, it's David here with another Chinali Chat. Just want to see about how influences affect your mind and whether whether in an industry or maybe a sport or something else you want to get into. I use a real estate as an example because this happened to me. I didn't really look to see what, you know, how much money uh, realtors were making before I went in. That wasn't my motivation for getting into real estate. Uh, the second thing was I didn't know how many realtors were in the Toronto Real Estate Board. Again, that didn't deter me, you know, right now there's about 70,000 realtors. So that didn't uh, deter me from wanting to be a realtor. Instead, there was something innate inside of me that knew that I would be good at this and I would really enjoy it. So. I didn't let the numbers cloud my judgment of what I could do in this industry. Don't let that affect you either way too. Don't get, you know, I would say like, don't get too uh, wide eyed and seem like, oh my God, this person makes so much money. That's why I want to get into an industry. That shouldn't be your only end goal. Uh, and again, don't get deterred if there's, there might be 70,000 other realtors out there, but who knows, maybe only one of them's really good. You don't know until you get into it. But if, you, if there's something innate inside of you that tells you you're gonna be good at something, and you know you can make money at it, let's be honest, you're gonna have to feed your family. Don't let what the external factors affect how you affect your life. Use that to your advantage. Turn a negative into a positive. And who cares what everybody else is doing? You focus on you.